when you're not LARPing on the flat range, do they keep you in a little box? Cells. Cells. Do you wish you had an Anna de Armas girlfriend? Cells. Cells. Do you long to hold a woman's hand? LARP. LARP. Do you like to run around the flat range? LARP. LARP. Did you buy a Mark 18 because Grantham said to, but now you're getting into recce? A LARP. LARP. Does your mom make your favorite chicken tendies after your flat range session? Flat range. Flat range. Why don't you go ahead and say that three times fast for me? Flat range. Flat range. Flat range. Do you buy kit to flex for your friends on the internet only for Instagram? Cells. Cells. Cells interlinked. Why don't you go ahead and say that three times fast for me? Cells interlinked. Cells interlinked. Look Cells interlinked. You were way off baseline. I can fix that. Go see the map. You look like a good job. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of letting myself in. I was careful not to drag in any dirt. Dirt I don't mind. Unannounced visitors, I do. You the police? Are you tactical considerations? I'm a farmer. What do you farm? Ammo. AAC. Flawless design. Is that what I smell? That's just for me. Gunpowder. Gunpowder? Wanna try some? No, thank you. I prefer to keep an empty stomach until the hard part of the day is over. You haven't always been a farmer, though, have you? That bag. Medical issue. What were you? A gun tuber? Plan on taking me in? Deleting my channel? Getting a look inside my analytics? Mr. Considerations, if taking you in is an option, I'd much rather prefer that than the alternative. I'm sorry it had to be me. Good as any. Now, if you could just look up and to the left for me. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, The Talking Trench Coat. Today we're going over a little SMC chassis, or the small modular chassis from Strike Industries. It is coupled up with this SIG P320. Now you might be wondering, hey admin, I don't care about stuff like this. Well you should, because it gives me a chance to LARP a little Blade Runner vibe. The Blade Runner fit does go hard. I got this jacket off Amazon, if you're wondering. Pretty much you get everything off Amazon nowadays, which is nice because it just ships right to you and it helps out with that uh, monkey brain. So we're going over this little SIG P320 in a Strike Industries chassis. Now I like what Strike Industry does because they scratch the weird itch. I have a weird itch sometimes and sometimes that itch involves a sci-fi need. And I think they're scratching it with this thing. Usually I'm not a really big fan of pistol chassis. One, because I don't care and two, well, let's dive into it the video. Now, gentlemen, I know you're on the toilet and are watching this, drinking your coffee, consuming your beer, whatever you may be doing, time thefting from your overlords. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment in that comment section. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm God, a God of which who enjoys your user interaction. Of course, if you want to support the channel, Patreon, excellent way to support the channel. Release videos early. We talk about Nana de Armas. We have a good time. Of course, merchandise is also an excellent way to let your parents know that you are on track to finding a wife and reproducing this planet. So, hey, pick up some merchandise. Of course, now let's dive into talking about this pistol chassis and why I think they're a little bit goofy. Of course, before we do go any further to thank the sponsors of this video, SDI, if you want to become an accredited gunsmith, get some training, learn how to work on guns, break into the firearms industry. Maybe you can tell my dumb monkey brain how this gun actually works. I don't get it. I still 
still don't get the magic. I put magic beans in the gun, somehow it worked. It's crazy. We also have to thank Americana Pie Dream Apparel. I love those guys. They are some young Zoomers getting after it in the Millsurp game. So great, fantastic guys. Usually in all my videos, I rock some sort of Americana Pipe Dream surplus. At least I do now because they are fantastic. We also have to thank our new ammo sponsor. That's right, we have an ammo sponsor now for the channel, AAC, America's Ammunition Company. Big thank you to those guys. All right, let's dive, into the, let's dive into the gun. This is not a new concept by any means. Essentially trying to get a more performance enhancing setup out of a handgun. That's not a new concept. That goes back to like the artillery Lugers of World War I. It goes back to when they made revolver rifles back in the heyday of the revolver. Uh, I can't remember the name of a certain gun. You'll have to solve. You'll, you'll insert that for me. I'm drawing a blank, guys. Come on. But that's not a new concept, right? People have thought, hey, this handgun is great. What if we can get more performance out of it? Because everyone, since essentially everyone that's touched a rifle knows rifles are better at what they do than handguns. Handguns are hard to shoot. If you ever take someone that doesn't shoot a lot and you try and teach them how to shoot a handgun, they're gonna suck. If you show them how to shoot a rifle, they'll be a lot better. Rifles are inherently better. So when you can take something that's a handgun and try and turn it into a rifle platform. Now legally, we're in a gray area with this whole pistol brace stuff. I mean, this gun's not even mine, is it? Who knows? Legality. But who gives a damn? It's all CGI anyway, right? So we have this SIG P320 and it is in the SMC chassis. Now, this is the Strike Modular chassis. Like I was saying earlier, it scratches that sci-fi itch. Now, Strike Industries, they are kind of known for their very over-the-top designs. And I do like that because as someone that has a collection of firearms, it's always fun to get something a little bit weird in there to show off and have a little bit of a, a little bit of an awe factor, I would say. Now, this definitely kind of does that. They are very much known for their weird factor. Now, they, of course, aren't the first people to do a SIG P320 chassis. Of course, we all know of the Flux Defense Raider. That one came about first. And that one actually got featured in, I believe, what, the new Battlefield 2042. But Strike came along and they made this. Now, the reason I have this is Strike sent it to me and I was like, you know what, being the gun channel that I am, I like showing these things off because it makes for a fun little quick video where we can do a little shooting and show off another piece of kit that you could potentially add to your arsenal or potentially not. So there are pros and cons to this thing in my opinion. And that's just what this video is. It's just like dude on the internet that wears a balaclava telling you his opinion and it's essentially what I did with the gun. Now, if you're already a SIG P320 owner, I can maybe see the appeal of this. It's kind of like the same thing with those Glock Roni chassis or whatever they are, um, where you can, hey, I can get a force multiplier real quick out of my firearm. I can see the appeal to that. I see the draw. But my thing is, is like, Okay, what are you gonna do with your, if you're already daily driving a SIG P320, are you now gonna take that and throw it on here and now it's like, I force multiply. So nine mil isn't great for destroying people. Rifle rounds are. They actually have rifle platforms now that are much better than handguns. Say a very compact 300 blackout, to me, is much more desirable than a very compact nine mil chassis like this. But this thing still has pros and cons. As a bad gun itself, you can fold this thing up and it gets very compact, more so than, say, a PCC of some kind, like a 300 Blackout or maybe like a MP5K. It's a very compact design. And even in this configuration, if you didn't even have the brace on it, you can still probably put in a lot of work because there's legalities. This isn't technically a forward vertical grip. It's a mag holder. So there is some legalities that you have to jump through with certain platforms. So this gun does act as a force multiplier because handgun shots at distance are very hard. And We've definitely seen active shooters be stopped by armed citizens with handguns, but they're really from the top of my head. I can't think of a situation yet of a civilian stopping an active shooter with like a, a chassis like this that really doesn't exist. Now, it's not to say that it's not ever gonna happen. It's not to say that that's not a possibility because that could be something that, you know, really force multiplies you. Because potentially your best shot against some of these active shooters is shooting them in the face if they are up armored. And adding accuracy to your setup is not a bad thing if that's an option that you have. So here we got an MP5 setup. Now, this is gonna be much longer and more robust than the chassis system itself, but it has pros to it. Pros such as that it is much more controllable, the recoil is really good, there's more mass to it, but it, yet again, it is bigger. So as far as a bad gun would go, it is a lot bigger than say a chassis system such as this. And it's kind of like, yeah, I know, water's wet kind of moment but it's always good to have a little illustration. 
Now shooting this thing, of course the recoil isn't bad whatsoever, uh, but it is snappier than say a full size nine millimeter PCC carbine. Then that's just something that you have to observe for yourself. You may end up getting one of these and you could be a wizard with it. And hey, your prerogative, your life, whatever you want to do, that's on you. To me personally, I'm not a big fan of these chassis because I, as someone who does daily drive a handgun, I find it super rare that I would have this uh, set up nearby as opposed to a more compact PCC style rifle. I would rather have that. If I'm going to carry the size, I might as well just upgrade and use a 300 blackout PCC, right? As opposed to something like this. Now, you could see this and this could tickle your fancy. You're thinking, hey, compact little design. I like the way it looks because everyone loves aesthetics. I, it's up to you. Me personally, I like the idea. <laughs> I like the idea, I like the concept. I just, I'm not a big fan of SIG to begin with. I, I like SIG. I love desk. But I don't love SIG, if that makes any sense. I can shoot them, I feel decently okay with them. I prefer some other handguns. Nothing against SIG by all means, I mean they're much smarter people than I am working there and doing their thing. So I do like the idea of the force multiplication that Strike does offer with the chassis, but ultimately, I'm not someone that would go out of my way to pick this setup up and run it too hard. Running it when I did was fun. It is fun to shoot nine mil. It is, um, I would say in the cathartic section of shooting because just low recoil, low cost of ammo, or it's above a 22, so it's more fun than that. But of course, there's always that one thing where these PCCs fall short and it's their lack of full auto capability. If you're gonna be running a nine millimeter round, a lot of the appeal to me would be a full auto selection. And this thing will probably even fall short in that category compared to like a full size MP5. And I know I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent like I always do, so bear with me because because I'm gonna keep going. If this was in full auto, I already know it would be a lot snappier than a full size PCC like an MP5 and it wouldn't be as controllable. So overall, I'd rather get again, take that semi-auto 300 blackout. To me, a lot of pros to it, but ultimately I wouldn't be like, you're not really gonna probably catch me ever rocking this, but I do like it and I like it that it gives me a chance to run the Blade Runner vibes. Now, one thing I do like about the idea of it is in like the civilian world, we don't ever talk about shield work, but if you did have a ballistic shield of some kind, your prerogative, if you had something like that, working a handgun with, with a, a brace of some kind would be really comfortable because these are a lot more wieldy than, of course, the full-size 9mm PCCs or a rifle if you had to work one. And they're gonna be more accurate than, say, a handgun trying to work it around a shield um, as opposed to getting to put it in your shoulder. So I do like that aspect, but yet again, it's kind of very rare where you would find yourself running a shield, but hey, you never know. You know, I, I'm not here filming nerdy Blade Runner videos, so you never know what's gonna happen in your reality. So I have beaten this gun up enough. I would like to pay it some compliments, though I don't love the concept of pistol chassis setups like this. I do like what Strike did with their chassis. The lines, the ergos, the aesthetics, aesthetics. It all looks really good. And I think they did a really great job for modularity, especially in this little back part right here. They have the 1913 rail right here that attaches to the brace itself. And I wanna pay a lot of compliments to this little brace stock setup thingy. Legal speaking, this is all CGI. But this thing opens and closes ambidextrous both sides. So it's got a cutie point right here. And then I just learned that you can attach the cutie point back here as well. The more you know the more you know. And it's actually, hold on, let me see. Does this actually do this? What the, what the frick frick? No, it doesn't, okay. So this is ambidextrous, lift up and over. It'll go this side. I like that. I think that's a really cool stock design. I could see some concerns about reliability, um, maybe with heavier recoiling setups, but I think time will tell. We, we could take this and try it out on future platforms. But for nine mil, I think it works great. And I do like that modularity, the gun guy hot buzzword, modularity, right? I do like that. I think it's cool. And I like the way it looks. I like you can still access your iron sights by getting a very tight cheek weld on this little bar right here. You can, you can either be running up high on that red dot or get real scrunched down. But when you're that close to pistol irons, it becomes super weird as opposed to when they are farther out. So, but the red dot does a good job for what it does. Um, I don't know about night vision. I haven't tried this thing with any night vision shooting yet. This is potentially a little bit too close if you had your tubes. I'm just trying to think of that spatial awareness, but it's a nice option, I should say. 
I mean, you would want to have the ability to shoot a pistol of some kind under nod, so pretty cool. I like the side charging handle. I do have a bad habit personally. Um, I know that I'll throw my thumb up, so I remember shooting this off the get-go when I first got it. I was smacking my thumb with that side charging handle, and it's not a fun feeling. You just gotta remember to keep that thumb down. Don't be a dumb dumb, because that's a bad habit, and that's on me, right? They also sent me some other stuff, but I didn't get a chance to throw the comp on. But I do have this rail extender, so you can get a little bit more real estate with this mag holder as well as the flashlight. Of course, I would rather have a more flush flashlight setup. Maybe if Strike made an integrated flashlight grip design or flashlight mag holder design, that'd be pretty cool. Not giving me even more sci-fi props. Me personally, I think yet again, my nerdy LARP itch was scratched with this thing. So I was like, you know what? I think it's worthy of a video and I'd like to show her off some of the pros and cons. Ultimately, yet again, your life your gunfight, your existence. Do whatever you think is rational, whatever works for you. Well, gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'm your local YouTube dancing monkey. This is a quick little look at a pistol chassis that I thought was worthy of its own YouTube video. So if you want to support the channel, make sure you perform Patreon merchandise. As always, gentlemen, stay easy, stay breezy. I'll catch you on the flip.